Welcome back. Um, well, first of all, I want to apologize. That I kind of bitched and complained about everybody driving with the cars with the, the damage to them and the kind of stains in the car or what have you. I didn't realize how much of a pain in the ass this was going to be. I had to deal with um, Uber's insurance company. If you ever have an accident or if the people that ride in your car do more than $250 worth of damage, such as they've done in mine, you're going to have to deal with these idiots. And that's exactly what they are. They have the worst rating that I have ever seen for an insurance company, and they're still in business. So go figure that. So to everybody, what I said in the beginning of this series, I do apologize because I understand now. The company is called James River. That is Uber's insurance company. So if you ever have to deal with them, be prepared. Their deductible, which is a kicker, is a thousand dollars. So for them to do anything to your vehicle, you can have a thousand dollars. I mean, come on, let's be for real. If I had a thousand dollars laying in the bank, you actually think I'd be Ubering? And the guy was like, well, I don't think so. I said exactly my point. He said, well, there's nothing I can do. So, Uber gave me the $250 and I'm out the rest. So, in the past three months, I've had $1,000 done to my vehicle that I'm just SOL. Because people don't know how to take care of things when they get in, they want to act stupid. So, I do understand. And if you're watching this series... Be prepared, because if you have a nice vehicle like mine, you might want to change vehicles. And I'm in the process of doing that now. I'm only, me and my wife's only Ubering to get a vehicle fixed so we can use that one and not use the one I'm in at this moment. But James Rivers is a scam from hell. And if you can, use another insurance. If you get into an accident, and it's not your fault, use the other people's insurance. Because if you try, if you mention anything about that you're Ubering, people ain't going to want to pay it. They say, oh, well, you got the insurance, you deal with it. And it's a nightmare. On top of this, even if it's not your fault, James River is going to try to claim it on yours to where your insurance has to pay for it. And that's the other runaround I got other loophole to this uber says you don't have to have full coverage you just have to have liability not according to james rivers in there for the in order for their insurance to pay for your damage you must have full coverage which i'm scratching my head at that because i'm just like why is my insurance got anything to do with it when while i'm driving for uber their insurance is responsible for my vehicle so, I don't get it. I don't know how it's legal, but that's a dictatorship you got to deal with when it comes to Uber. And they will ask you for your um your insurance, your insurance number, pictures of the vehicle, all four corners of the vehicle, mind you, because they want to make sure you're not driving around a piece of junk car. But you, you're Uber, and most people they're driving around a half-ass car. So I mean, except for me and a few others. So, they asked for all that. Then they want the cover sheet to your insurance. I'm just like, well, wait a minute, dude. I had a video of all this. I recorded all of it, and somehow or another it got deleted. And I'm pretty upset over it, so you guys can see what I had to go through. And the guy just flat out said, look, man, if you ain't got the $1,000 deductible, there ain't nothing I can do for you. As, as far as I can go, because that's the policy that Uber pulled. And that's what it's responsible for. So... If you have a nice car and you want to continue to do it, you either have your insurance or you get ride share insurance. So either one. Because dealing with these idiots is going to be a nightmare. Unless you're doing Uber Black or Uber SUV, then it ain't that big of a deal. You've got $1,000 to show out, but the rest of us don't. 
So I just wanted to put this in the series because this is another damn headache that I've had to go through and the experience of doing this that I'm kind of regretting doing it in the first place. But I hope you learn from something from it. Just watch what you're doing and my advice to you, get a cheaper vehicle.